What is going on guys? Game Taco here. We're in Shovel Knight. Check this out. This is from Yacht Club Games. So they had a Kickstarter for a game called Shovel Knight uh, about a year ago. I think it was April 2013. Uh, they asked for 75000 They got 300000 So uh, it's been like 15 months and here we are with Shovel Knight. So they were kind enough to send me a an early copy of the game. So thank you, Yacht Club Games. You are the best and I love your game so far. Um, now, I can't play through the entire game because of embargoes and such, but I am going to show you uh, maybe the first level or so, the first town, uh, give you some of my impressions on it. Now, before I go any further, this is on the Wii U. Uh, it's also on 3DS and on Steam as well, so uh, it releases in six days on June 26th, so um, if you like this video, make sure you keep an eye out for Shovel Knight when it releases in a measly six days. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I already made a profile. I didn't start playing it yet. So I'm just going to let the story play out a bit. Now you might be wondering why Shovel Knight uses a shovel instead of a sword. Well, why does Shield Knight use a, two shields? I mean, what is this? Dark Souls? But yeah, the shovel's kind of the best of both worlds, if you think about it. I mean, there's a lot of secrets, and it it's it's really it really util, utilizes the shovel really well in this game, in my opinion. But basically, Shield Knight vanishes, and Shovel Knight's out to rescue Shield Knight. <laughs> Everybody's a knight in this game. And you, press, you uh, probably also noticed how the game looks like an NES game. It's because it basically is. But I mean that in the best way possible because it's so... It, it's basically like, imagine you're 8 years old. You just got your first video game system, like an NES or whatever. And you put in, like, Mega Man, alright? Now, I, I was always partial to Mega Man 5 because that's the one I grew up with, but... Uh, I know a lot of people like Mega Man 2, so imagine just getting, like, putting in Mega Man for the first time, and then, like, playing the hell out of it. That's basically what this game is like for me. So, check this out. I'm a knight, and I have a shovel, and I can dig stuff, get all these gems. There is a currency system in this game, so you can buy stuff, like upgrades. And your shovel flips enemies, which is fantastic. You can also get rid of these big sand blocks, and if you jump and press down, you kind of do like a moon bounce, like in uh, DuckTales. You know what I'm talking about? Like you bounce off stuff. Uh, it comes in... It, it, it's very, very useful. Pretty much anywhere. Oh. Because there, there are so many secrets and uh, tough jumps that... I'm just going to call it moon bounce, but your moon bounce is basically what keeps you alive. Here's our first checkpoint. There's like five checkpoints in a level. Oop, I don't know why I almost made that. And jump. I need all these gems. Yeah, um, all of your upgrades are really expensive, so you definitely want to get every gem that you can. And there's also items that you can buy as well. Here's our first little mini boss. Bounce on his head a couple times. Look at all this stuff. Let's see if I can break 5,000. Alright, check this out. I, I like this a lot. Haha! <laughs> you can throw skulls at the skeleton. You don't have to do that, but I thought it was funny. So, uh, whenever you see, like, something out of place in the wall, odds are it's a secret. Kind of like that. But there's other ones in this level. Oh, and it gets me every time. It's like the third time I've played this level, and the slimes always get me. Alright, there's something over here. Haha. <laughs> 
And another thing is, when you die, it's, uh... Whenever you die, it's kind of like Dark Souls. Oops, I missed something. It's right here. Uh, but as I was saying, whenever you die, it's kind of like Dark Souls because you lose a portion of your gold. But if you make it back to where you died, you can actually recover all of it. So, in that way, it's kind of like Dark Souls. And also the difficulty. The difficulty gets, uh... It, it really ramps up later on. Now, I've only played an hour of this so far, so... Um... How did I miss that? There we go. Now, as I was saying, I've only played an hour of this, but... From what I've played, it's... It is so... What am I doing? It's very good. It's, it's so much fun. It really is. And, uh, I know a lot of you guys don't have a Wii U because, uh, because for whatever reason, but I know a lot of you do have 3DSs, so I, when this releases on the 26th, I'll publish a formal review, um, and, uh, I really hope that the game keeps up, it's, uh, I, I really just hope that it's like this the entire way through. Because what I've played so far is just absolutely stellar. And, um... I hope you guys will get a chance to play it, at least on 3DS. I mean, it, honestly, it might e even be better on 3DS because it's such a... I don't know. The levels aren't, like, terribly long, but... It seems like it would be a good mobile game. And by mobile, I mean handheld. Alright, check this out. Look at that. We got carrots. All right, what's in this chest? Money! Look at all that. So yeah, lots of secrets. Lots and lots of secrets. Let's see if I can break 5,000 by the end of this level. I want that. I want that. There we go. That was close. Oh, oh, jeez. That was close. Could probably just run past this guy, but... Look at all the stuff he drops. Oh, jeez. I almost fell at the edge right there. That would have been bad. <laughs> Might as well break all these. Need all the money I can get? Here's another secret right here. There's a lot of uh, pixel perfect jumps as well. Like that. <laughs> uh, the controls are really actually very, very, very solid as well. It, it feels like Mega Man. The old school Mega Man. It's not the newer stuff. Which is totally a good thing. Because if you didn't know, I'm... Uh, I probably haven't mentioned it that much, but... I'm a pretty big fan of the older Mega Man games. Here's the boss already. Look at that. And the dialogue is just... It's so funny. Steal thy shovel, minion. Here's the first boss. Kind of reminds me of, like, Proto Man. Actually doing pretty well. Oh, ow, he got me. Stop it. Stop running back and forth. What are you doing? Ow, Jesus. Two more hits. There we go. Yeah. 
But uh, one thing is you don't get sweet. I made five thousand. Uh, but you you don't get weapons from the bosses. But there are items that you could use that use up your item points. In that essence, it's kind of like Zelda Two. <clears throat> And uh, in a moment, you'll see the world map, which is basically Super Mario World or Super Mario Brothers Three. Oh. I'll save you, figment of my imagination. All right. So, as you can see, it literally looks like Super Mario Bros. 3, which is completely a good thing. Uh, this is a village, but I'm actually going to end the video right here, and I'll I'll probably make a another uh, a part 2, I guess, later on in the week. Probably, maybe after it releases, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I don't want to show too much because of uh, uh, embargoes and such, but... It, <sighs> I, I just really highly recommend this game from what I've played so far. If, if it wasn't on your radar, it should be. Uh, again, it releases on the 26th, Wii U, 3DS, and Steam. Uh, anyway, that's everything. Um, I'm Game Taco. Make sure you uh, share this video with your friends and uh, subscribe if you're not already. Um, anyway, that's everything, so I will see you guys later. Peace.